Well, hey there. Hope everybody's having a great day. Uh, just out here, um, hanging out in the woods for a little bit. Uh, see what we can do. Maybe we'll, uh, you know, we'll play with our knife. Got my world famous Buck 110 folding hunter, my go-to folding knife to bring out into the woods. It's a classic. You gotta like the Buck 110 or not, up to you. So, let's hang out in the woods and have some fun. What do you say? Cedar bark, excellent fire tinder. I kind of, this is like my my go-to fire starter. So there's a bunch of uh, cedar trees down here and uh, all over my area. So uh, I mean, just peel it off. Um, try to uh, thin it out a little bit. This tree, uh, me. Paper, paper thin. Done this in several videos. Use this cedar bark. We'll see if we can get uh, get some fire going. We don't really need a fire. It's hot as hell. But that's what you do, man. It's not it's not outdoors and bushcraft without a campfire. I've also got a 100% all natural bowl to keep my fire tinder in. Isn't that nice? And to be honest, this old uh, this turtle shell here would actually be pretty good to uh, try to s strike up a flame in as the size might uh, you know, block the wind a little bit. So, let's try it out. Right now, we're at a spot. It's a uh, little grove of uh, pawpaw trees here. I don't know if you'll be able to see any in the uh, video here or not, but uh, there are some small uh, pieces of fruit starting to grow on. There's a, I don't know if you can see, I can't zoom in, but uh, there's a nice sized one growing right there. So another uh, month and a half. Maybe there'll be some uh, nice, tasty, sweet fruit to eat. Of course, look at us now. We got uh, these dang old weeds in the way. Let's uh, take care of that. Whoo! Some down here out of frame too. Buck 110. Is it your go-to weed chopper? Mine either. I have a uh, legit like weed whacker for that, but who brings that on a little hike? Bring the buck 110. Cross the trail. We've got spider webs everywhere. That poor dragonfly is about to be lunch for a spider. Okay, walking up to the stream here. There are three large turkey vultures. So we must have some sort of tasty dead morsel over here. Hopefully it doesn't stink up the whole woods. So eh, maybe I'll check it out. Or maybe not. So here is where those vultures were sitting, but uh, I don't see anything dead that they would have been uh, would have been hanging around. Um, I kind of smelled something, but no carcass in sight. Maybe they finished with it already. Or, you know, vultures were just uh, hanging out here in the woods like me. I reckon they have just as much right to a relaxing day down at the creek. 
don't know if you can see them well, but those buzzards have moved to the top of that uh, dead tree there. Ooh, there goes one. Let me see if I can get a better shot of that guy. A majestic black eagle. <laughs> Trash eagle. Hopefully you can see him up there. Wish I could zoom in, but cannot. All right, found a nice little, not a little, but got a log to sit on here and a small, uh, tight little clearing area here in the, the woods. Um, maybe I'll try to clear out and uh, dig a little fire pool here. There's a uh, Man, there's some, there's a bird making some really loud calls. Um, of course, while I had the camera off. I don't know what's going on in these woods today, but uh, yeah, something's off a little bit. Hopefully, uh, no bears prowling around coming behind me. Because <coughs> if you recall, a while back, I found that uh, big old pile of poop out here in these woods down the, the creek down that way uh, I don't know 100 150 yards or so but uh, you yeah, know let's just uh, hang out chill relax for a few minutes before I gotta get back to work well actually I got my well, I'm sitting here take my pack off is the uh, 511 Cobra 18 backpack, and I brought my uh, shovel, Cold Steel Special Forces shovel that I got from the Choir Boys Cutlery Raffle, crafted up by uh, Keith Carpenter. Um, I got a uh, sheath for it. it was a uh, Father's Day gift, so I had said I wanted it. But here's a. Uh, design on there. So let's see if we can uh, maybe dig ourselves a little hole and uh, we'll at least have this uh, kind of chill spot here for the future. So let's get started. So this shovel just hacked this little, uh, looks like a young pawpaw tree. Just, uh, Clearing out some space here. Man, this ground is, uh, Super hard. We uh, we haven't really had a good amount of rain where I live in uh, quite a while. So this ground is super tough. So I'm just kind of loosening up some of this dirt so I can dig. Of course, uh, looks like there's like, you know, roots from all the surrounding trees and stuff in here as well.
here is our uh, small little hole we'll use as a fire pit and we'll just uh, sit that little turtle shell in there for size reference I mean it's the hole is about as deep as my hand so we'll say I don't know six seven inches whatever should have brought my measuring stick but uh, let's play around here and uh, see if we can get a fire started all right got this here um, Maxpedition kind of EDC pack uh, which I keep a few things in a little small first aid kit some sunscreen Bic lighter pen um, some uh, a uh, fire starting cube here ferro rod we're just going to try and use the uh, ferro rod today let's uh, kind of tear up this bark and I'm not going to build like a roaring fire right now but uh, just see if we can get our initial ignition here um, make this bark real fine so it'll take a spark We'll see how that does. And have we done this test before? Have we seen if the Buck 110 strikes a ferro rod? With with the spine, obviously. Let's see. It's not the greatest um, spine, I don't think, is a uh, true 90 degrees there. So let's uh, fold that back up. Safety and maintenance. All right, now let's try a striker. Obviously, we are getting sparks there. <gasps> Big old. Hmm. Let's try dumping it out of the turtle shell here and get the. Well, folks, you're seeing why starting a fire is a survival skill. Cuz, and why I am the noob. <laughs> of course, our tinder bundle here isn't enormous. It obviously catches a little bit. There we go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, right? Hardly. All right, let's let that burn there for a minute. Oh man, my striker came untied from my paracord. It's no good. But as you can see, the cedar bark is a good tinder source. You just got to get it uh, together correctly and it burns quickly. So uh, as I said, it is a tinder source, not for a long lasting all night campfire. And it'll probably burn out in just a minute. So, hope you enjoyed this trip with me. Just a quick little trip. Um, 
sorry. Ah, uh, get in the frame there. Um, hopefully this little spot right here can uh, be home to some future videos as well. Um, there is a... <coughs> inhaled some smoke. There is a kind of leaned over pawpaw tree behind me. Oh. That uh, might make for a nice beam for a little bush craft shelter. What do you say? Should I make a camp here? I can have a, so here's the bench sitting on and the tree leaning out. It's firm in the ground. I don't think, uh, you know, it's wide open up there. No dead limbs. Looks like gonna fall on my head. If I do a camp out here, maybe bring the kids. Hmm. We'll see how it goes. Until next time, take care. Uh, spend some time in the outdoors. Make sure you bring your trusty companion with you. Mine, the Buck 110. And our lovely Cold Steel Special Forces. Shovel, help from a dead box turtle shell. Those uh, turkey buzzards seem to have disappeared, so that's good, I guess. I don't want them bothering me. But anyways, as I said before, have fun spending some time outside. Always bring a favorite knife with you. Have a great day. See you next time.